Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got new Stars of the Month, our first iteration of the Stars of the Month from the European Leagues. We also got new Plays of the Year, as well as some prime times that have X-Factor implications. We're going to break all that down as usual. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL 22 content. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the brand new content. Things off with the 85 Marco Mueller 511 with Wingman. So obviously not a bad synergy there for him, but only gets his acceleration up to 86. He's got Puck on a string, which I, again, is not one I would really look to activate. Does have 87 speed. And a really good shot and hand stats. The one issue here is obviously he's five foot nine. So in his own zone, it's going to be awfully tough to use him. But, you know, at 87 speed, you there are worse cards out there. We'll take a quick look at what he's going for on the auction house, if it's anything crazy. Like 20k, 18, so like the bare minimum for 85s, essentially. And, you know, 87 overall speed for anyone that's free to play looking for a winger. Again, I think that size kind of just takes him out of the equation, but he's not bad for sure. Then we've got the 85 Thatcher Demko for that unbelievable save he had a few days ago with post to post, which is a nice superstar ability, has spark as well. Demko cards have always played really well, I'm not going to lie, his aggression's down at 73, speed's at 86, this could be a very, very good goaltender, I will have a goaltender video that will come out uh, in just about a day or so, going over the ones that I think are the best in the game currently, and Thatcher Demko is honestly one of the better ones that I've used in the past few games. Got the 92 Connor McDavid. This one comes with Thief and Puck on a string for that unbelievable goal that he scored a few days ago. Now, this one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. So Connor McDavid, he's literally not containable when it comes to holding back his overalls and prime times and and, and team of the weeks and things like that because of just how good he is. This card, if you packed this card, you could literally not have another Connor McDavid for the rest of the year, and you'd be fine. 96 speed, 96 acceleration and agility. His wrist shot accuracy is at 96. If you have Thief activated on him, he's got 99 defensive stats as well. You can play him at center. You don't really have to go out and get other Connor McDavid cards. Like Even his X-Factor, while it does have obvious bonuses with extra customizable synergies and superstar and zone abilities... But this card is fine. Like, if, in all honesty, you could just use this card for the rest of the year, and you wouldn't really need to replace a left-handed winger for the majority of the game. Now, what does that mean for his X-Factor? So he unlocks Tier 8 and Tier 9 with... So what does that mean for his X-Factor? Well, he gets Tier 9, which brings Tape to Tape, which isn't a bad superstar ability, in my opinion, to go ahead with all of his other customizable synergies as well. Honestly, like I said, I've been saying this from the beginning, the X-Factor Conor McDavid is the card to chase. If you got the 92 play of the year one, I don't think you need to go out and get it. But while you're trying to get the, you know, the monthly seasonal X-Factor pack and doing uh, the ability every 30 days to do that X-Factor choice pack, I would keep doing it until you get Conor McDavid because this card is just so good and you'll have, you know, for the rest of the game, it'll be the best card that you can get. Take a look at some of the stars of the month. We've got the 88 Richard Ginge. I'm going to say Ginge. I don't know if that's it. Six foot one with buzzing as his synergy can get up to 86 speed. This is a right winger with good agility as well. His shot power is actually kind of sneaky as well. 94 power on the wrist shot, 92 on the accurate on the on the power for the slap shot, and his hand stats are all above 90. This isn't a bad card. The issue is is obviously the 86 skating. That's lower than Yarmir Yager. So in my opinion, unless you're a fan of this card and player I would probably avoid he does have a place because of that at shot power and accuracy but you're gonna have to have him with really fast players on the other side but still a pretty cool card then we've got the 88 Roman Cervenka center with 90 speed acceleration and agility shot power also nice hand stats all in the high 80s low 90s this is a nice card that you could use at center or the wing and if you put thief on him He's a phenomenal all-around card. This is one of the nicer ones. And again, these cards, for North American players, they have no idea really who these players are. But So it makes them a little bit less popular. However, if you can grab one of these, these this is a nice buy right here. Rowan Cervenka, this 88 overall, is really nice. We'll take a look at what he's going for in the auction house right now. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. 200K right now, he will come down from that. I don't think he's going to sell. But, you know, like 100K for this card would be pretty nice. This is basically the, uh, the team builder... Um, the team builder, Vinny Danfoos, essentially. It's almost the exact same card. Then we've got the 88 overall, TJ Brennan, with booming shot and thunderclap. He's got 87 speed, 87 acceleration on the back end. That's not bad for defensemen, especially at this stage. With booming shot activated, his slap shot power gets up to 96. 
And his body checking is at 89 at 6-1. This is a really nice left-handed defenseman card. Honestly, one of the better ones that you can get in the game right now. Then we've got the 88, Chris D'Souza. 5-9 at 88 overall center with the Spark Synergy. Has 89 speed and acceleration, which isn't bad at all. Close quarters, I'm not a huge fan of. Defensive stats are really rough. And while he has 98 body checking at 5'9", that's a hilarious combo. Like, I actually low-key want to try that out. Because, again, obviously, you're not going to be able to bump people off the puck very easily with someone who's 5'9". Man, he's going cheap enough. I might try this guy out with 99 body checking, you know, in November. That's wild. And then we've got the 80 overall, Merrick Mazanich with six foot four with fly the zone and no timer. This is low key a really nice goaltender. The only downfall is he's got 81 aggression, which might end up killing it in terms of value. I would love anyone that tries out this card to comment down below and let us know if this card's any good because he's six foot four with no timer, which I like. Speed's at 86, positioning's really high, so is his glove. I don't know, I'm curious. As then lastly, let's take a look at some of the more useful prime times that came out today. And we will start first with the new 84 Tyson Barry with Spark and in reverse, which is actually kind of a nice superstar ability. 5'11", so that's obviously a little tough because you want to have a little bit bigger defenseman. But nonetheless, with 84 body check, it's okay. Excel acceleration with spark will get him to 89 his shot is okay he's very mediocre at this point and there's a lot of good right-handed defensemen and especially a lot of you guys are gonna have a lot of x-factor defensemen i'd probably pass on this one with the 86 speed for johnny goudreau with gladiator an unstoppable force this might actually be a really nice combo a smaller player is obviously a little bit harder to hit and with unstoppable force, it makes him harder to get bumped off the puck. That's a perfect combination. 91 speed, 91 acceleration. Shots in the mid to high 80s, as well as his deking at 92. I'd really be interested to hear some, you know, some feedback if anyone that was able to try this card. But he could be really good for sure, especially if you can't afford some of the master set guys. Anyone with 91 speed is obviously useful still. Then we've got the 85, Adam Fox with booming shot and beauty backhand. He's got 88 speed, acceleration, and agility. Honestly, a nice right-handed card for sure. He's going to be a little bit cheaper just because, again, like I said, there's a lot of other righties. Like, if you had Tyson Bear, I'd much rather have this Adam Fox. If you don't have his X Factor, this prime time is actually not all that bad while you're building up your back end. We'll take a look at what his new uh, card is on, or new tier is on his X Factor. And he's got Light the Lamp. That is what unlocks at, at, uh, at tier 8 with Thief already as well. In my opinion, that's the one you should go with. He's a really good defenseman. And honestly, because he started... Started out a little bit lower at 84. He is only 25,000 coins to upgrade. If he gets a speed synergy at some point, and this upgrade does not increase his speed, so his next one will, could be pretty valuable. And again, any Adam Fox card now is X Factor is probably going to jump up in price like they all have. So be on the lookout for that. Evgeny Kuznetsov with Gladiator and Kuznetsov cards are always going to be extremely valuable because of that speed 92 x speed, 92 acceleration 91 agility, high 80s shot, his hand stats are all in the high 80s this is the upgrade from base Taylor Hall so once you've gotten enough coins to build up your team, this is a great bridge card before you get a master set player and at 39k or even under that, I would definitely look to pull the trigger, this is a great left handed winger and make sure you do it before he's out of packs then we've got the 89 Artemi Panarin with Gladiator and Third Eye. 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Not much else you can say here. The Artemi Panarin cards are always going to be some of the best right-handed wingers in the game. And this one is great as well. And again, for anyone that doesn't have their X Factor, these are the cards to look out for because they will take a hit in the price because they just lose a lot of interest because they're like, oh, it's not the X Factor. Let's take a look at the new tier. It does cost 60,000 coins. And it will move you up in speed with the 89 Panarin. As well, he gets Light the Lamp as his next uh, unlockable trait or synergy there. He's got 1T and Ankle Breaker as well. One of the better X-Factor cards in the game. Been saying it for a while and just a really, really good all-around card. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.